traveling homesteaders it's been a while i apologize for the uh, lack of videos recently um life's happened Life's happened. We've had a lot going on. Had some uh, a death in the family. Had um, my grandmother who is um, suffering from dementia. My wife has been out caring for her, helping care for her. Uh, she's out there almost every day of the week to sit with her and relieve my mom and my uncle uh, for a little while so that they can get out and do some other things. Guys, we're going to try to get back into the routine of, of doing more. And right now, I'm out in the apiary. I started uh, already on this project and just forgot to start a video of it. So we're, uh, we're coming into it part way through here. <laughs> um, my dad and I built uh, some new stands these uh, that stand there that the that the hives are sitting on um, let me turn around here so the hives were sitting back here on some cinder blocks and it, the area kind of got away from us just turned into a big mess and um, weeds grew up you can see behind it there's a bunch of weeds the uh, the bees don't like the weed eater so we're gonna try something new uh, with building these stands, what I'm going to do is work on uh, putting down some landscape material uh, underneath, you know, get the grass cut, get everything cleaned up, and put some uh, material down to kill all of the grass, and then put some landscape timbers around it, and then maybe use like a, a vinegar-based weed killer, something that won't harm the bees can't really use well i guess you can use roundup or something like that i know a lot of people that do uh but we're trying not to do that i don't want it to affect the bees especially being right there you know right there with them so um so today i'm just going to work on getting the area getting the cinder blocks out of the way getting that kind of stuff picked up and and moved um what i ended up doing and you can see all the bees are um you know well not all of them but a good amount of them are out moving um, and that's because I've moved the hives <laughs> um, I ended up taking that top the super off and sitting it off to the side and then uh, the two bottom boxes and the bottom board uh, they were they were heavy but uh, they were light enough that I was able to pick them up and get them moved to this stand which is in a temporary location I'm going to end up where basically about where all that grass is growing. Um, I'm going to put a, uh, a new stand right there. I'm new to this, so if anybody else knows, feel free to comment, let me know. Um, I've heard that moving beehives, uh, you can either move them two feet or two miles. Um, basically, don't move them any more than two feet, or if you do, you got to move them two miles. Because uh, if you move them, you know, let's say 100, 150, 200 feet away or something, um, when the bees leave the hive, they end up going back to the original location. So you've got a bunch of foragers that would leave the hive to go out and do their job, and when they come back, they go to the old location. Um, again, I, I'm, I'm going off of what other people have said and what I've read and so forth. So... Um, Moving them forward on the temporary stand I don't think is a big deal. Gives me time to clean things up and get them moved back. Keep you guys updated on that project as, as well as uh, many more that are coming. Um, I don't know if you can see it from here. But right over there where that backhoe is sitting, we've got a new building project. We're building a, um, we're building a home 
for my dad and Donna's mom. So that project is, uh, is underway. Like I said, we've had a lot going on. coming after me. See him flying around the veil. It's the beauty of having a veil on. Normally when I'm just working the hives I don't usually wear the veil unless you know the bees just seem like they're getting aggressive but I knew moving them uh, was gonna upset them quite a bit so I went ahead and put the veil on. Just so that hive, that hive over there these three hives, um, we've got that area, and then we've got another we've got another hive stand here that we built. So I'm gonna put those side by side there along the road. Uh, these are spread out on here just because it, it was temporary. I wasn't worried about spacing them um, appropriately, but I will scoot those closer together. I'll be able to get four on each stand, two stands. I'll have eight hives in this area. And then if we end up with more than that, we may put them over on the other, uh, the other property. I'd appreciate you checking out the video and uh, be watching for some more. Have a great day.